God's discipline is not punishment. First, we must understand the difference between punishment and discipline. Hebrews 12.6 tells us, The Lord disciplines the one He loves, and He chastens everyone He accepts as His Son. God's discipline is not a form of punishment, but a sign of His deep love for us. It is through discipline that He shapes us, refines our character, and draws us closer to Him. When we face trials, it is not because God delights in our suffering, but because He is cultivating in us the qualities that reflect His image. God's Sovereign Plan Second, we need to recognize that God's ways are higher than our ways. What we perceive as punishment might be part of a larger divine plan that we cannot fully comprehend. In moments of hardship, remember that God is sovereign and His plans for us are good. Jeremiah reassures us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Suffering as a test of faith Third, consider that suffering can be a test of faith. James 1-2-4 encourages us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Our trials can strengthen our faith, deepen our reliance on God, and prepare us for greater works in His name. 4. Learning and Growth Fourth, trials and challenges are often the fertile ground for spiritual growth. Romans 5, 3, 5 says, We also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. God uses our struggles to teach us valuable lessons, to humble us, and to help us grow in wisdom and grace. 5. Trust in God's faithfulness. Finally, trust in God's faithfulness. He promises never to leave us nor forsake us. Even when we feel abandoned, God is right there with us, carrying us through our darkest moments. Romans 8.28 assures us, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Lastly, when it seems like God is punishing you for no reason, remember that His love and purposes are greater than we can understand. Embrace the trials as opportunities for growth, trust in His sovereign plan, and rest in the assurance of His everlasting love. If you found this message uplifting, please subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Stay blessed and stay faithful. Amen.